Hey, happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Happy Hour Express podcast on The Stripe Show. I'm your host, Samantha Marks. As you know, I'm going to be bringing you everything you need to know from This Week in Golf. In about 10 minutes, we got some news this week, of course. It's the WGC Match Play Week. It's finally Friday. I don't know about you guys, but this week seemed to drag on forever. Probably has to do with the fact that the Masters is in two weeks too. So a little bit anticipatory feelings there. Um, it's about time to uh, pour a margarita. So if my mind seems like it's off somewhere else, it's definitely downstairs in the kitchen on the bar cart right now. But it's a happy Friday. It's a beautiful day here in, uh, in Orlando, Florida. It's like 92 degrees. It's so hot. Um, I put makeup on for the first time today. Uh, in like a week, looked in the mirror and I was like, whoa, who's that? So we're feeling good today. We're ready to go. It's the weekend. Let's get right to it. In the rundown today, we're going to talk a little bit about the WGC match play at Austin Country Club. Um, we're going to talk about the need for more match play on tour. Uh, we're going to talk about what the hell is going on with Rory. Um, we're going to talk about Brooks's injury, um, Bryson and NFTs, which is gaining some traction on social media. Um, the Masters food packs uh, that came out again this year. And we got some rapid fire questions uh, from some of my friends actually sent these in. So they'll be super fun. Moving right to it, as we said, the WGC match play this week in, uh, in Texas at Austin Country Club. And first day, lots of upsets. Uh, Bryson lost to a guy who mostly plays on the European tour. I made a joke about not knowing who he was. Of course, I know who he is. Y'all just think that I don't know anything and don't understand that everything I say is a joke. Okay, so we just need to get that through our heads right now. Um, lots of upsets. Um, but I think that match play has been so much Fun to watch. I love this match play format. Um, it does have its ups and downs. I asked about it on Twitter on Thursday about if um, if the PGA Tour should have more match play and why or why not. A lot of people seem to think that match play, you don't get rewarded for, for playing well for four consistent days. And yes, I understand there still does need to be some of that on the PGA Tour with the longer uh, four-day short play events. I understand that. But Imagine the tour championship with 15 million on the line and it's match play. Can you imagine? I mean, just on Thursday, we saw uh, JT like talking shit about Kevin Kisner, like right in his face. Jokingly, of course, obviously the two are friends, but that kind of stuff is awesome. And I think that I would love to see more of it on tour. Um, no, it doesn't need to be every week. I understand that there's still a love and an admiration for stroke play for four day events. I understand that um, getting rewarded with playing well for a longer period of time is obviously important too. But I think that the drama effect, um, the, the ability to just start over on the next hole um, is so awesome to see these pros uh, strategize around it, in my opinion. So I'm not saying every event needs to be match play, but I would like to definitely see more. Somebody on Twitter actually responded that they would like to see all of the WGCs be match play so that we would get, I think there's three, three a year. So I think that would be a great compromise. Um, having that mixed in with the majors and then obviously the Presidents and Ryder Cup would be a great time too. So next up, we're going to talk about what is up with Rory McIlroy. If you listen to this podcast, you hear Travis talk about it all the time, uh, especially in the last few weeks and the last few months. Rory McIlroy has been searching, as they say. Um, he admitted to chasing distance um, when Bryson came out and started hitting it longer. He admitted to, to trying to get longer. And obviously that didn't work out very well for him. And you look at a swing like his and you think, what were you thinking? Um, trying to change anything with it. And that's something that Travis and I have talked about extensively. And um, he's got a new coach now is working with Pete Cowan. And um, on, on uh, it was Wednesday. Yeah. On Wednesday, Rory snap hooked it left into someone's literal backyard pool. And if you'll remember on 18 at the players, uh, he snap hooked two in the water left uh, as well, which got a lot of traction on social media. So Maybe instead of uh, the slices, he has a case of the hooks. And as Travis always says, you can talk to a slice. You can't talk to a hook. So hopefully Rory gets it figured out soon. I know, you know, he's in a little bit of a different stage of life right now with, you know, the wife and the kid and, and stuff like that. But I think um, 
it just sucks to see him struggling so much because I felt like before COVID he was, he was really trending. So I'd love to see him get back to that. Obviously as most would, he's a great guy to watch. Um, next up we've got Brooks Kepka is home with, after having knee surgery, tweeted it like super random the other day, all these pictures of him in crutches and they got a brace on and all this stuff on his knee. And it was kind of very like nonchalant. Like he tried to kind of make it seem like it wasn't a big deal. And then, um, a couple of people on Twitter were saying that, you know, it looks a lot more serious than it actually is. And if this procedure is what it says, he's what he said he had, then he's going to be out for several months. And obviously we're sitting here thinking like, yo, the master's in two weeks. Like you think about that. And obviously he's been in some pain or he's been dealing with this for a while, which is um, obviously what caused the urgency I felt like. And, but to just tweet it like that, I felt like was so strange. Um, I mean, I, I wish him well. I think he's one of the best golfers, in my opinion, one of the best ball strikers I've ever seen. So I can't wait for him to come back and start playing with, with Bryson doing the crap Bryson's doing now and, and seeing that I would have loved, I would have loved to see him paired with Bryson when he uh, tried to hit it over the water on six at Bay Hill. So that's, that's it there. Bryson came out and, uh, and released some NFTs. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what that is. I, it looked like trading cards to me. Um, it's very popular right now. Um, there's NBA Top Shot, I understand, is similar. But now there's some people saying that um, it was supposed to be an auction and he closed it early and one of them was sold for like $40,000 or something. And I don't know. And I'm not going to pretend like I know because I don't. But the whole thing seems a little sketchy. And um, I just think it's weird because it's not like Bryson needs a quick dollar, right? Like it's not like he needs, you know, a quick uh, check in the mail from a, a trading card. So I don't know, it just seemed a little bit weird to me. And I'm curious to see uh, what he ends up saying and, and coming out about it. But he did this whole like release on Instagram and said like news coming and we're like, we're so excited. And I, I don't know, Maybe, I mean, there's definitely a market for it. Don't get me wrong. I think it could be a very cool product and a cool thing to, uh, to have. And I know there's people who collect that type of stuff, but I don't know how the execution went, if it went quite as, uh, as well as he thought it was going to. So next up, we have the Masters Food Party Pack. So if you remember, um, it was last. Uh, so they were supposed to have it in April. So the, tw the first 2020 Masters, um, not the November one, the one before that. Uh, Augusta came out with this party pack, basically, that was encompassing of a bunch of the different concession items, pimento cheese, uh, chocolate chip cookies, caramel corn, chips, uh, the famous cups that they give out at the Masters when you get a soda or a beer or anything like that. And it was this pack of, of things um, for $150. Now, last time when I saw it, I did not get one in time. They were already sold out. So this year, I saw the link pop up on my Twitter and I have never hit add to cart fast enough in my life. And that says a lot for somebody who has like five Amazon packages coming to the house every single day. So I got one and there will be a full unboxing vlog. There will be a taste test. There's going to be so much content coming from this $150, arguably the best $150 I've ever spent. And then everywhere I go for the next billion years, I'm going to walk around with a master's 2021 cup. And what are you going to do about it? Be jealous? Probably. So I have my, um, my party box coming, no party, just me and the box of $150 concessions from Augusta national. So I'm pretty hyped about it. Uh, if you haven't gotten one yet, I don't know if they're still available, but I got mine off of Fanatic, So you should definitely go check it out and believe it or not, not an ad, just me, um, being reckless with my $150 apparently. So we have some rapid fire questions and these were actually sent in by a couple of my friends who know nothing about golf. So they obviously don't have anything to do with golf, but I still think they're kind of fun. Um, it's a good way to end the, end the episode and, and round up the week. We've got, who's your favorite sports team? So growing up, uh, I'm from Texas and my family's from Texas. Uh, I grew up in Orlando, but I was born in Texas and uh, all my family is still there. So growing up, my favorite team was the Cowboys. Don't roast me on this. Don't. I will block you. Don't do it. Um, you asked, I answered. I'm not even going to get into it because 
I don't want to, I don't want to be the most hated Twitter golf queen of all time. So we're going to leave that there. Favorite movie. I don't really watch a ton of movies, but I love Will Smith and everything that Will Smith has um, done. I will tell you something so weird. I Robot used to be my favorite movie growing up. I don't know if you've seen that Will Smith movie. If you haven't, you should. Um, also, I Am Legend, uh, Pursuit of Happiness. I'm telling you, Will Smith, anything Will Smith, I will watch it in the drop of a hat. Um, I'm also a big documentary gal, so I'm not a big... Um, like movies about things that couldn't actually happen. I like seeing crime documentaries or um, any kind of real, real take, real film. Uh, last two, favorite celebrity. Um, I'll be honest with y'all. I have a weird obsession with Mark Cuban. And I really never thought that this podcast was going to go there. But um, I'm not mad that it did. And... Just like with the other thing, I'm just going to leave that there and move on and say that I would love to pick Mark Cuban's brain about business, about sports. Um, I like to ask people when I meet them is if you could have lunch with anybody, who would you pick, dead or alive? And mine would be him. After I grew up watching Shark Tank. I used to watch Shark Tank reruns for hours. And I just think that he's such a great businessman. And I love these from Texas and supports the Texas uh Texas sports teams. Um, so that's my answer for that. Take it or leave it. Do I think he's hot? Maybe. Different subject. Um, favorite drink is the last one. And this one's so easy. I will go a uh, margarita on the rocks with extra salt. So just plain lime, no flavors or anything like that. And I think that's what I'm going to be pouring myself here in about 15 minutes, if we're being honest. It's just been one of those weeks, y'all. But we have a full weekend of match play to watch, which is awesome. We have the LPGA Kia Classic, where Michelle Wee is in action, um, again, for the first time in like two years. So I'm super excited to watch that, super excited to watch the PGA Tour. Um, it's going to be a fun weekend. Uh, I've got some friends from college coming into town, so going to go out on the town and see what Orlando has to offer. So I'm excited for a weekend of fun and golf and friends. So I hope that you guys have the same fun weekend. Um, it's been a really great week for me. And I'm just glad that you guys love engaging in this conversation with me on Twitter and on Instagram. It's really fun for me. And I hope that you're loving these podcasts as much as I'm loving producing them because believe it or not, I do love to talk and talking to myself in the camera for 10, 15 minutes is so much fun to me. So as you know, please subscribe if you haven't already, if you're enjoying what you're seeing here or listening to. Um, be sure to leave us a rating. Five stars would be preferable. And a review. We're going to be doing a giveaway for some online lessons with Travis and then some gifts from some of our sponsors. So it's going to be really fun. And all you have to do is leave a review. Just literally leave a one-liner review. It takes 30 seconds. So you could be entered. And there's not many entrants yet. So you would have a pretty good chance if you did that now. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a safe, healthy, and fun weekend ahead for now. Cheers. I'm going to go make that margarita. See you guys next week.